Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, just out for a bit of a ride on a, a lazy ride on a Saturday. Just been to Twisted Moto to have a quick look at the Royal Enfield uh, Super Media 650. A fantastic looking bike. I'm going to take one for a test ride next week, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, um, I had a bit of a regrettable incident online recently. Uh, I won't name any lanes and I won't name the motorcycle repair shop that uh, I did, but um, I made the mistake of saying that I had a less than stellar experience with this repair shop because um, what happened was when I was first getting into motorcycles I bought a Kawasaki Ninja 250 which was a great bike, great to learn on, easy to ride, easy to learn on and um, I swapped all my camera gear at the time for it and when we took it I rang the guy and asked you know, do you go do road wheelies? He said yes. I said okay, needs a service, um, needs new tyres, uh, all that sort of stuff. And you know, can you go for it? Let us know. Give us the cost. And he went, yep, sure. He came, picked it up. Uh, seemed really nice. So what? Um, they did the work. Cost eighteen hundred bucks for a set of tyres, um, which were probably Sport Demons, I think. Uh, great bike. Great tyres, loved them, heaps of grip in the wet. And uh, I thought everything was fine, hunky dory, and that. And then later on, um, went to pick up the wife's Virago, and we were talking to the mechanic there. And I said, I told him about the need an injury, and he said, Oh, how much did that cost you? And I went, 1800 bucks. He went, What? 1800 bucks? What would you have done? So I told him, I told him I could pick up the bike and all that sort of drama. He said, oh, dude, I could have done that for 1500 I went, oh, okay, okay, that's yeah, fine, not a problem. And then my son bought his um, Royal Enfield Continental GT, so... I thought, just for shits and giggles, I pulled up the receipt and... I didn't show the guy at Nevermind, who's just now Twisted Moto. Um, he turned the camp there and said, look, this is how much would it cost me to do this? Get a road where the set of tyres, um, I can't quite remember what was else was done. Might have had a new sprocket chain, maybe. No, the, the, the sprocket chain was fine on that bike. I think, oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so I ran through the list and he went, oh, yeah, 1500 bucks. I went, oh, okay. I think I got a little bit screwed. Oh, never mind. And, um, which, you know, I thought, okay, fair enough. It was in the middle of COVID and so I thought, yeah, you know, it was a bit annoying. And then about two months after, my front tyre started going down. And I went, oh, what's going on here? So I've got one of those default DeWalt inflators, which is really cool. Um, so I was popping it up again, and I was thinking, oh, I'll have to take this back to see what's wrong with it. And I had a closer look at the valve stem. The arseholes at this, uh, where I got the bike fixed, didn't replace the valve stem. Like, they charged an absolute premium for work on the bike, and they didn't change the valve stem. And it was perished and leaking, and it was my front tyre. I mean, that is super sloppy, terrible work. And um, I made the mistake, and then what happened, just recently, I made the mistake of outlining my experience about this motorcycle repair shop. And a um, member of our motorcycle group, um, I get a message from this person, and they basically said, oh, you know, so you shouldn't be bagging people online. And I said, but this is my experience. Um, this is what happened. And I said, what I didn't say was they charged me an extra 300 bucks. And this person was saying that they're real nice people and stuff like that. And I, and I replied, yeah, they're really nice people being sarcastic. And this person then th proceeded to threaten me to come around and said, basically, I'll pay you a personal visit. And I said, well, what does that mean? 
and then I get the nastiest message and this person is supposed to be a Christian and I get the horrible message supposed to be saying yeah you're all alone you're an old man no one likes you yada 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 and I thought wow dude so I showed my, showed my wife showed my daughter who read it and then burst into tears and I was thinking well if we were warned about this person um, that they turn on people and I went no this person's been fine um, I'll give her, this person the respect that they deserve they've been nice to us but character, the character assessment from I'll call it a mutual friend it's a couple of mutual friends was absolutely accurate that person turned on me so I went oh shit what do I do so I took screenshots and I'm just sitting on them and I suspect this person's going to get nasty when they see this, when they see this video so I'm just doing this for my moment and to have to get it out there but you know while well, people seem nice um, they'll, they can turn on you and look 99% of the people that I've met or riding motorbikes are fantastic They're great people, good stories, good to hang around with you know, even the Harley riders and the Indian riders and the adventure bike riders, sport bike riders yeah they're all great and, um, and I enjoy riding with them all but uh, I was sort of so shocked one thing I did forget to say about this um, motor shuffle repair shop is remember I said that um, I asked about the road really they didn't tell us that they get there and according to their one star reviews on Google they don't do their own road really they get road and river to do it so why wasn't I told so not only sloppy work with the Paris valve stem where we overcharged by about 300 bucks why didn't they tell me they don't need their own worthies own road worthies that wouldn't have mattered I still would have got it got the work done there so they lied to us as well yeah we're in contrast where and we go I get all my servicing done at Twisted Moto now and yeah we've had a couple of issues but they've um, sorted it out and they're great they're excellent people to deal with the mechanical service is pretty darn good um, had, you know they've been, they've been really good to us so we keep taking our bikes back so yeah lesson learned I guess and it turns out this person is in a relationship with an employee at this particular bike shop so um, I've taken screenshots I'm sitting on them um, if I get any more threats from this person I'll take more screenshots and then I'll go to the police or if this person shows up to you know pay me a personal visit so we'll have to wait and see or I just go to the police and get an AVO <laughs> just notice my fuel lights on so yeah that's about it so sorry about the bit of a whinge but that was my experience and I guess in each group of people is assholes so something to keep in mind and it's amazing the masks that people wear right Please like and subscribe. I um, hope this hasn't put anyone off. Um, but it's just my honest experience that you can't trust everybody out there. See you around. Bye bye.